Hello, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to show you a way to save a trained neural network model and use it later in TensorFlow. Let's get started and see how we could do that. As I said in this video, I want to talk about how to save a trained neural network and use it later in TensorFlow. The use of neural networks has become very popular for solving different types of computer vision and machine learning problems. Training these neural networks sometimes can be very time consuming. Also, the result of the model changes upon a new training process. This is because after all, these models have some kind of optimization whose result is not going to be constant. To overcome these issues, we can save our trained model to always use that whenever we want to. That way, we get the same accuracy and also a constant result. Other benefits of saving a trained model and using it later are as follows. First is efficient resource utilization. This means you don't have to retrain the model every time you need to use it, saving valuable time and computational resources. Second is consistency in results. When you save a trained neural network and reuse it, you ensure consistency in the results it produces. Third is scalability and deployment. Saved neural models can be easily deployed across different platforms and environments. Fourth is customization and fine-tuning. Saved models can serve as the foundation for further customization and fine-tuning. Fifth is reusability and collaboration. Saved models facilitate collaboration among researchers, developers, and data scientists through sharing a trained model with others to build up on your network, explore new ideas, and so on. Sixth is cost savings. Training complex neural networks can be computationally expensive, requiring powerful hardware and significant energy consumption. By saving and reusing trained models, you can reduce the overall cost of AI development and deployment, making it more accessible to individuals and organizations with limited resources. Seventh is future-proofing your work. Saving your trained neural networks ensures that you have a backup of your work, protecting it against unforeseen circumstances such as hardware failure, software updates, or changes in data availability. The model that I'm going to be using in this video has already been explained in one of the former videos as shown here. The model is a deep convolutional autoencoder that has been used for image denoising. Let's go to Python and show you how we can save a neural network in TensorFlow and use it later. Okay, here's the code for this video. I've already explained this code in detail in one of my former videos, and I'm just going to go quickly over it. So we're going to use MNIST data, and this is where we're loading the data. So we're going to add some noise to the data, because this is a denoising problem in which we want the network to go from a noisy image to a denoised image. And this is where we're going to build our model, which is a deep convolutional autoencoder, because it has more than four layers. So the name of our model is going to be autoencoder, but you could just put model here, it doesn't matter. This is where we are compiling the model, and this is where we're fitting the data to our model. And right after fit, you should put the save here. So I put the name of the model, for us it's autoencoder. You could just use model, it doesn't matter, but here I have used autoencoder. And autoencoder.save, and this is the folder where the model is going to be saved. And this is the name of my model, my model.caress. So just a folder that contains the model and also the name of the model. And this is the summary of the model. And then I'm going to predict the model output from my test images. And this is where I'm going to be showing you guys some results. So right after fit, you should save your model. And this is how you save your model, just as a reminder. Okay, let's run it and see what happens. It has 10 epochs. It's going to take some time to run. Okay, the run is complete. As you can see, this is the result. These are the noisy image, and this is a denoised image, and the model has been saved in this folder. Let's go see if the model is saved there. So as you can see, this is the model that was saved in the folder that I wanted to save. Now let's go use this model. The whole point about saving the model is to use it later. Let's go see how we could use it. We go to this script, so we first import the libraries that we need. We import the TensorFlow as TF. We also import the MNIST data because we want to test the model on this data. We don't need to train anymore, but we want to test it. This is how we read the model, the model that has been saved, as you can see, in this folder. And that's my model, my model.caress. So to read the saved model, we just do this. tensorflow.caress.models.loadmodel. And we write the folder in which the model is saved. And then we write the model, my model.caress. And this one is going to be assigned to new model. And I'm going to show you the summary of the model. This is where, again, I'm loading the data, the MNIST data, and I'm going to add noise to them. 
but here I don't need to train the model. I just predict the output of the model on my testing data because I'm just using the trained model. I save the trained model just to exempt myself from training again. So I don't need to train as I said, I just want to know the output from my testing data. As you can see here, this will be the output from my testing data. And then I'm going to show you some of the results and we could compare it to the original model that we had here. Let's try it and see what happens. This is the output from my testing data. As you can see here, they are very much the same. So I was able to save my trained model so that I wouldn't need to train it again. And that saves me a lot of time. You could also access these codes using the link in the description section of this video. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and you were able to get something out of it. If you liked it, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and also share the video with your friends. Thank you so much and have a nice day.